Hi, Quilting with Harriet. My bobbin thread just ran out, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial and show you how New Start In works on the Pro Stitcher. So let me bring you over to the quilt and I'll show you where I'm going to pull out some stitches, use my thread snips from Superior, and go back to a New Start End. So my thread ran out right here where my scissors are. And I'm going to take my thread snips from Superior Threads. I really like these. It's got a, a curved edge on it, a curve right here. So when as I'm tearing out my stitches, it won't um, rip the cloth. So my I put my new bobbin in already. I oiled, I cleaned it out, put my new bobbin in. So now I'm going to pull out a couple of stitches so that I can grab both of my threads and tie off and bury. So I'm just gonna pull out some threads until I get to my tail long enough. So let me show you how short the tail is right now because that's where my bobbin ran out. It's not wide and it's not long enough to tie off yet. So I need a couple more stitches. Okay, that looks good right there. So I'm just gonna take my two thread ends and I'm gonna tie a knot in them two times. And don't ask me what kind of knot this is. It's just a regular knot. My Girl Scout days were a long time ago. All right, so now what I have is a needle with a little bit larger eye on it. Let's see if you can see that. And I have some dental floss hanging through there. Dental floss is a little bit stronger and it won't pull out so fast through the eye of the needle. A friend recommended that I try this. So I threaded my two ends through the needle and I created a loop. So now what I do is I take my two, my top thread and my bobbin thread on my quilt and I go into the last hole that it's coming out of and I just slip that needle through, keep it on the top of the quilt, on the top of the inside of the quilt and I'll bring the needle through. Here's the loop. I'll take my two threads bring them through the loop and now pull the, th the, the needle with the floss and it pulls those ends out. I'll put that back on my collar and now I just cut those threads right there. So now I'm going to go up to my machine. I'm going to come up to my machine and I'm going to come to my Pro Stitcher new start end. I'm going to get rid of the alarm and I'll get rid of the machine error as well. And I'm going to come over here onto my right hand side, new start end, and I'm going to put my needle where I want it to start and it'll run over the first couple of stitches on my quilts. But my knot is buried there so I'm good. So I'm going to put my needle right at the, the bottom of this V here because I have at least three stitches going up here. So I'm going to set it back to right at that V. It's going to run over those three stitches. So at my new start end, let's see if I can straighten this out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay. You have the auto, you have start, end, and auto on both of these. I want the new start point to go from up here to right where my needle is, right here where my crosshair is. So I'm gonna hit auto two times. If I only hit it once, watch what happens to that star point. It's moving with my crosshairs. But if I hit it two times, now when I move my crosshairs, it stays where it is. Now when I set up my pattern, I already baselined it. So I'm not gonna baseline this now because if I do, um, actually, if I do, the star point will move back up to the top. But since I already baselined it, you see that it's, it's grayed out here. I don't even have that option right now. The next thing I'm gonna do is right here in the corner where you have pause and cancel, there's also a pull up on resume and a tie off on resume. As soon as I hit resume over here, the machine is gonna let me pull up my bobbin thread. It's gonna take a stitch. It's gonna let me pull up my bobbin thread. 
and then it's going to do its locking stitches. So I always want to make sure that I have these two buttons pressed over here. If I don't, when I hit resume, the machine's just going to start to sew. So the next thing that I want to do, I'm sorry for the shake, is after you set your new start end, you can see which direction it's going to go into by using the slider bars over here on the side. So I think I have it in the right direction, but let me see which way it's actually going to go. The slider bars on the very top here, the little ones, when I hold that, you can see that it's moving very slow. Now, if I use the big slider bar, it's gonna jump from row to row to row because it's a straight line. So watch the difference. Okay, and then the jump down here on the very bottom will jump it. Um, that's not working on this one. Normally it goes down the rows when you're doing an edge to edge. But that way you can tell that you're going in the right direction and not going this way or backwards or whatever. It's an easy check after you set your start point. I want to come over to this side of my quilt and I want to check my tension because I just put my bobbin in and I check it every time. So I have some extra fabric here from the placemats that I'm doing. I'm working on placemats. I have some extra fabric that needs to be cut off. It's the directions. So that's my top layer. I put some insole bright in here. This is a layer of insole bright in the middle. I'm going to use these plates mats on my wooden table and I don't want the heat to go through the place mat onto my wood and warp my wood. So I put that layer of insole bright in there. It stitches beautifully. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to take my machine, pull up my bobbin thread. I'm going to do some lines, some circles and some points. down my thread from above the needle. I'm not pulling from the needle. I'm pulling above the needle. I'm going to move my machine over. I'm going to come back to where I ended. Needle down and up. And now I'm going to cut those threads. So now I take my clamp off. I can turn my fabric a little bit over and I can see that my stitches are looking really good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my machine back to the vicinity of the start point. And I'm going to hit, I'm going to put my scissors away. Always put your scissors away. And I'm going to hit resume. And now it's back to where I wanted it to be. And I'm ready to hit resume again. And there's my locking stitches and it's ready to go. So I hope that helped you understand new start and end a little bit better. It's a very easy process. Just remember to hit the auto button twice. Remember to hit the tie off on resume and the pull up on resume. Otherwise you're gonna have a bird's nest underneath your quilt on your backing. And I do that every time that my bobbin runs out or my thread breaks, whichever happens first. And that just is a successful way to get me going again. Hit the like button for me, please. Subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell so you're notified when new videos come up. And let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. My Halloween placements are almost ready to put on the table.